Okay. Hello everyone, I am Mark Daniel Patrick, musical theater coach. Thank you so much for checking out the channel, and if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and make sure you leave a comment before you leave of any suggestions for future upcoming videos. Even if you're just commenting on my wonderful forehead tan line, if it's distracting, I apologize, let me know about it down below. So last night's video unfortunately was taken down due to copyright reasons. It was carpool karaoke. I'm not surprised. I should have known it was coming. It's the price you have to pay of running a reaction channel, I suppose. So today we're trying to get some content out immediately. In doing that, I was hoping to save this video for later on in the channel, but let's bring it up today since I'm desperate. And it's another Les Mis reaction video. I'm sorry for so much Les Mis off the top, but I mean, at the same time, you can't have too much Les Mis, so I think we're okay there. So this is a performance of A Little Fall of Rain from Les Mis. It's also taken from the 10th anniversary production at the Royal Albert Hall with Lea Salonga and Michael Ball coming together to perform the number. Now, I've actually never seen this performance done. I've seen it done a number of times, uh, including in the film version with Eddie Redmayne and Samantha Banks, but I've never actually seen uh, one of my favorites, Lea Salonga, and an absolute treasure of musical theater, Michael Ball, come together. So I'm quite excited for this, so let's go check it out. never gonna get over that music. Don't you fret, Monsieur Marius. I don't feel any pain. A little for the brain can hardly hurt me now. Mm. That's all I need to know. She's playing um she's playing it a a little bit more beautiful than than maybe I've seen in the past. Um but um that you're here was just heart wrenching. You could hear it as she just lets it go, doesn't bother singing it, that you're here was was really great. I like Michael's reaction so far too. He's, he's really in it. God above, if I could heal your wounds with words of love. So that it's it, stylistically, I mean, um, for this show and, and, and when it was released, stylistically, that's more the, you know, so he's talking to the heavens, so he's looking at the heavens. Uh, it makes it a little bit more dramatic to, to make it a, a bigger moment. I prefer I prefer a more dramatic, I mean, just because you're talking about the heavens, you don't need to stare at the heavens. It doesn't need to be as forth as, as forthcoming or as, as, as apparent as that. It's such an emotional pinnacle moment of the show. Uh, so I really am looking for, for actors or for performers to just bring you in with subtlety, not necessarily this big dramatic moment. Um, just because she's dying in your arms. It's, it's, uh, it, it's meant to be a very intimate moment. Just hold me now and let it be. Shelter me, comfort me. They look so good together though. You would live a hundred years if I could show you how. Oh, Michael, that voice. I won't desert you now. I'm sorry to keep stopping, but you can see, look at his face right here. You can see, I mean, let that be a lesson to any upcoming student. He's listening to, he's hanging on every word she's singing. Um, so many actors, when you're in a duet scene like this, uh, they'll just, you know, oh, it's your part now, you go ahead. He's he's hanging on every word she's saying. And obviously, I mean, he's he's one of the best, but um, yeah, that's a, that's a good lesson to learn. Begin to clear and I'm at rest. 
come so far. So don't regret, dear Marius. You don't feel any pain. A little fall of rain can hardly hurt you now. I'm here. Okay, um, so <clears throat> contrary to what I said at the beginning, uh, she, I'm, I don't know why I doubted it, but she is, uh, she's literally one of the best, they both are, um, but so she starts off very, very beautiful, very open, very, you know, singing through the whole thing to give her a place to go, to give her, you could see as the song goes on, as the number goes on, she dwindles and starts to become less and less powerful with her voice. That moment where she's reaching off uh, to, to the heavens uh, is really her last big effort and her last big um, moment of energy that she, that she has left. Michael Ball, man, that I watching him and watching his reaction to her again an absolute master class in in how you need to to support your actors on stage um you know as much as she's acting he's has to be right there with her and and he's giving her a place to go by his reactions and what he's doing she's it, it's elevating her performance right and it elevates the whole thing together um that's yeah that's beautiful so as to be expected, I mean, Lema's content rarely disappoints. Uh, you know, I, I, I harped on at the beginning, they both had a big dramatic moment and they seemed like it was going to be a big uh, dramatic, um, maybe played up, uh, played up number, but I don't know why I doubted it from the beginning. They really brought it down. They brought it into an intimate moment. And this is really, I mean, such a, you know, if you haven't cried um, before this point in the show, this is the moment where you will break down. If you don't break down at this moment, uh, maybe you don't have a soul. I don't, I don't know what to say, but this is really the pinnacle moment where uh, it pulls on every heartstring. It's one of those incredible moments in musical theater where everything, not everything is so big. Everything, you know, you're, you're in a, a live stage, you're in a, um, an auditorium or a theater of, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of people. And to bring, uh, to bring a moment down to just two people on stage together and to bring everything in so tight and so close takes a lot of hard work and it's, it's very difficult to do. Um, but when it's done well, uh, as, as two seasoned performers like this, it's, it's a magical moment. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's part of the reason why you love theater so much, why you love live theater is to watch the high moments, to watch the high notes, uh, and the big jazz hand moments, and then also to watch these soft, intimate moments as well, and, and how they can do it live day after day, show after show. It's, uh, yeah, it's just incredible. So that's all we have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upcoming video. And don't forget to leave me a comment of any suggestions of upcoming videos of things you'd like to see. And until then, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick, and thank you so much for watching.